seat parked in the Rotary Club charity car park in Skipton. It was £3 all day, but only open at weekends. Hello everyone and welcome back to Sally's Travels. I'm Alice and today we are in Skipton. So we're going to be having a look around and then later we might be going up to a viaduct maybe. And then we are staying up at a pub stop over tonight. So yeah. Skipton Castle. Skipton Castle is over 900 years old. Unfortunately, we didn't get to have a look around this time. Below, I have put the entry fee prices just in case you're interested. Then, we went into Craven Court Shopping Centre, which is located in the heart of Skipton. Inside, there are lots of different varieties of shops and cafes. There was a very nice atmosphere inside and plus if it's raining at least you're dry. Then we had a look at what shops Skipton had to offer before we went out to have a look at the canal. we headed to Ribblehead Viaduct. It's about a 40 minute drive from Skipton and the views are so amazing on the way. Hi everyone, so just arrived at Ribblehead Viaduct and it's raining and it's very cold and windy. Ribblehead Viaduct was built in 1869 by John Sidney Crossley. It is still in use today. When we went, it was very wet and windy, so I'm very sorry for the quality of the footage. arrived at the Old Stone Trough pub at Kelbrook, um, about 20 to 25 minutes away from Skipton and what we are going to do is I'm just going to give you a little tour. In the morning we're going in for breakfast so I'll show you inside then. They also have hotel rooms here so you can stay the night if you want to, obviously you have to pay. So yeah. The Old Stone Trough pub is located in Kelbrook on the Lancashire slash Yorkshire border. You have to pre-book and check in when you arrive. This pub stopover has a lot to offer. It has a nice grassed area with picnic benches and a dog waste bin. This is to keep the area tidy. has drinking water and rubbish disposal. This is a nice touch. Sadly, it doesn't have any toilet disposal just yet. It also has a toilet and a sink in a small hut in case you haven't got your own facilities. We paid 
£15 for the night, which included two buffet breakfasts the following morning. In our opinion, this is great value for money. Please check the price before you stay, because this offer might change. The next morning, we went to the pub to get some breakfast. There was lots of variety and it was all very yummy. Breakfast is served Monday to Friday, 7.30 till 9.30 a.m. and at the weekend, 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. Hello everyone and good morning. So I'm just going to do a quick review of the Old Stone Trough pub in Kelbrook and also just tell us how our night away has been. So we started off at Skipton which is a very nice village, I mean village, town, whatever you want to call it, more like a town but it is very nice and there's lots of good shops and cafes that you can go and have and explore. There's also the castle that is a, you have to pay to go in and I haven't left that in the video. The, then we went to Ribblehead Viaduct which is very beautiful and there's also the station over the road which we didn't visit. There's also the station in pub which you can go and have a meal in if you want to. You can also stop over there overnight if you have a camper van or a motorhome and you're wanting to do that. The Ribblehead Viaduct is a very nice um, place. You can follow this track down and it takes you to Wernside eventually. Um, yeah, it's very beautiful, good for, for photos, but unfortunately yesterday when we went, the weather wasn't very great. Then we've come to the Old trough, old Stone Trough pub in Kelbrook. It's really nice and they also have ho hotel accommodation. They have allocated spaces for motorhomes, so it's all very, very good. So I hope to see you on the next adventure. Bye for now. Please like the video, drop a comment and consider subscribing. See you on the next one. Bye!